The sponsor of today's video is Dr. Phone by Wondershare. Dr. Phone allows you to have all sorts of different system repair and recovery tools all in one app for the Mac and the iPhone. Check it out in the link below. Okay, so you've bought your first iPhone and you don't really know how to set it up properly or what to do with it, or you have been using one for quite some time. But guys, I found a few settings that are really interesting that need to be changed right now in order to make it better. So guys, of course, before we're gonna start the video, make sure you hit the like button because that would be so much appreciated. It's possibly share with friends, family, anyone who be, would be interested in it. And now let's get straight into this. And the first one is in the passcode. So go into your settings, uh, scroll down until you see the passcodes and accounts, click on this one. And there we have this toggle for autofill passcodes or the passwords. So it basically autofills the email and the login information on any website that you visited and actually provided your uh, information. So you no need to remember everything in your head. Now in the same category, there we have the fetch new data setting click on this one so this basically fetches new data from an iCloud every single 15 minutes as you can see and which is actually really really bad for the battery so make sure you select every 30 minutes or hourly or even manually or even disable it if you don't really use iCloud Drive Mail and stuff like this and next is in the iCloud so if you go into your iCloud actual accounts on your iPhone in the top portion of the settings uh, you're gonna be up here in this page now go ahead and find my iPhone so find this setting, click on this one and make sure you select the send the last location because every single time that you're low on the battery, your iPhone is going to be pushing your last location to an iCloud. So you're going to see where it was when it actually died on the battery life. And if you didn't know, Apple actually collects data from your iPhone of your iPhone usage. So in order to disable it, go into your privacy settings and then scroll down until you see the analytics. Click on this one. And as you can see, there we have the toggle for share iPhone and watch analytics. So make sure you toggle this one to off because if you go into here you're gonna see that we've got a bunch of analytics and it actually caches a lot of data in here so for those people who have the 16 gigabyte version of the iPhone this needs to be disabled for sure you know a lot of people actually don't use this setting but I'm actually a huge fan of it so this is the do not disturb mode so uh, if you go into here you can schedule it for example from 1 a.m. to 8 a.m. like I have it so I do not have all of these annoying calls and people who try to disturb me from this time to this time and I really want to sleep every single day from this to this of course so if you want for example your mom or your father to call you or any friends let's say uh, you can go into here and of course allow calls from favorites so and of course add this contact of your family or friends to your favorites and they're gonna be able to call you at every single time now this next one is a huge benefit for me but I'm not sure if it's gonna be for you because it really depends on how much data that do you actually buy and use uh, in every single month. So go into the sailor and scroll down uh, to the bottom and as you can see there's the option for the Wi-Fi assist. So this is basically when the Wi-Fi is really low, really really bad, the, your sailor data is going to be used in order to of course make the experience better for you. So for example if you have just let's say 100 megabytes per day you need to disable this one because you don't really want to have you know your um, actual sailor data to be consumed when you're on the Wi-Fi but for me this is the way to go because I got a lot of megabytes to spend per day. Since the iOS 7 was introduced Apple introduced also the parallax effect wallpaper available to anyone and it's still being used in iOS 12 so if you are using this kind of wallpaper please don't because it's actually draining so much battery from your device so go into your wallpapers click on your wallpaper and then make sure you select still so it won't be perspective like this it will be still so it won't be using any battery and it will be so much useful for your device. And the last but not least is the location services. So go into your privacy location services and make sure you don't have this words always in its uh, in the right column because if you do that means this uh, kind of app is using your location every single time it really wants. So apps like Uber uh, and you know delivery stuff are actually trying to use location every single time but it's really really bad for your battery life so make sure you go into here and then select um, you know anything apart from the always setting and yeah guys i think that should be pretty much it for today i really really hope that some of the settings uh, are useful for you and you found some of this useful and of course if you did make sure you smash the like button that would be super much appreciated like always also please subscribe to the channel or hit that bell icon because you're going to be receiving every single notifications from my channel and you guys have a nice day and peace out